You just said it was yours. No, I didn't. You said it's mine. No, I didn't. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to the It's What We Do podcast. We're your hosts, Hen and John. And, uh... Yeah, hello. How are you doing today, John? I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. It's I'm tired, but I am officially in vacation mode. Um, I have this whole week off of work, and I, <laughs> you know, couldn't come, couldn't have come any sooner. And I am excited to not do anything for a week. Shout out, not doing anything for a week. Fuck work. Fuck everything. Fuck uh, uh capitalism. Fuck me. What's up? Huh? What? Yeah, you heard yeah. that. Play back. No, <laughs> uh, but uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about uh, the DC slate right now and all the drama and controversy that's happening. And it's been happening for the last forever now. And uh, yes, that's what we'll be covering. But uh, right before we dive into that uh, massacre, or the, not massacre, <laughs> uh, what am I saying? Uh, that uh, mess of a thing. We'll, we'll be di- di- Cleaning di- shop. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's pretty much what they're doing, right? They're just uh, James Gunn's going in with the vacuum, just cleaning up everything, sucking up everything away, and just starting off fresh, a fresh slate. Well, we'll talk about how we got there and why it's happening, and uh, some of the plans that we know right now coming up. But before we get into that, we'll talk about the little news, and I do not have my news up like I never do. So I'm just slowly pulling it up now. I should probably pull that out too. That's yes. a good idea. And then speaking about uh, this, this is gonna tie tie in a little bit later with our DC slate. Uh, Henry Cavill is going to be in the what's that one thing called? Hammer Hammerhead. Uh, War Warhammer forty thousand forty k. I don't know if it's forty thousand or forty k. Yeah. Uh, he's he's talking about doing a franchise. He's gonna be a director, writer, producer. Um, I'm maybe starring right. I'm guessing right. Yeah, he's a big nerd, so I fucking def- nerd. I definitely see himself him being put into that fucking nerd. Yeah, but uh, I mean, it's another franchise, and uh, I just don't think it's ever a good idea whenever they start their uh their thing with a franchise. They say it's a franchise before it be happens or starts. You know? Oh, like like a they like do that? like it's just one show, and then a bunch of, like a franchise. I mean, like other. Oh, Running shows and movies and stuff. Yeah. It's like they're assuming this one would do good enough. And if you want to go into history, that's the same thing that happened in DC as well. And <laughs> then um, also other universes as well, like the Dark Universe. Uh, like they were going to do Mummy. They casted everyone. Johnny Depp, uh, Jessica Alba. Not Jessica Alba. That one that was in um, Mr. and Mr. Smith. Uh, Angelina Jolie. Yeah, she was going to be Miss Fran- Frankenstein. Uh, yeah, they had the whole lineup and everything. Mummy came out, but Tom Cruise bombed, and that was the end of it. Not saying this is going to happen, knock on wood, right, that it won't, but, I mean, history tells whenever you start off this strong, it normally just falls on its face, right? Yeah, but, I mean, we'll have to see with this, because uh, for those of you who don't know, Warhammer 40k is, like, a very popular, like, tabletop game, kind of like a little, like, I guess I would compare it to, like, Risk, but, like, on a bigger scale, which is kind of like a divide and conquer kind of game. Um, I don't really understand how it's played, but um, Henry Cavill has been confirmed. Like he's you know, a fucking he, nerd. Yeah, he's Whatever. a huge nerd. So uh, it's pretty popular. Uh, there's a lot of hype behind it. So uh, I even know some fans myself, and they're really hyped for it. Yeah, nerd friends, viewers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nerd they play chess. <laughs> and uh some of the uh, and then let's let's switch gears real quick now so positive news sorry in little spider-man news we have uh donald glover set to star and produce in the show hyper hustler hypno hustler damn i cannot read hypno hustler a new spider-man uh villain spinoff i believe is animated so yeah it's and especially it's donnie gloves so it's like um i think he's like one of those people who like get any project you want to get you know? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a good thing. And then also another thing, we have the Spider-Man 2 on uh, PS5. It's going to be releasing in the fall of 2023. And then the first Spider-Man game was incredible. The DLC, Miles Morales, was pretty good, great too. I didn't finish it, but I haven't. I think it sounds like you need to get Spider-Man 2, and it sounds like you need to get a PS5. Yeah, I need to get a PS5. I want to get it already now because of um, Cyberpunk, really. And I want to do multiple playthroughs on the ps5 already just 
to do it. I don't know. It's I guess that nerd kind of attitude. Nerd. Yeah, fucking piss. <laughs> and I just want to do that. So yeah, that's all my uh, list on my Santa Claus list, right? And then um, this is some news that we've been talking about a little bit more recently. I remember bringing this up multiple times. Where is it? Where is it coming? We are gonna have Invincible season two. It will drop in next month. Nice. Finally. Finally, right? I mean, that's something to really look forward. Uh, Invincible, uh, one of Amazon's probably one of their biggest shows out right now besides The Boys. And uh, really like it uh, based off of uh, Image Comics, right? Yes, yes, Image Comics. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's going to be crazy to see. I mean, we already kind of, I already kind of caught a glimpse of what's going to happen because of some clips from the comic or whatever yeah i was like i think a lot of us did that youtube dive on it and like you know the nerds reviewing it and stuff. Yeah. yeah like uh i think of this one guy filky he like explains a lot of comics and stuff like that and he gets crazy too mm-hmm. which is cool and it's a different it's a breath of fresh air in a different kind of universe that we're not familiar with yeah not everything's so happy shout out not being happy <laughs> but then they end up being very happy and mm-hmm. like oh yeah they're both able to live forever you know yeah that was pretty cute yeah but um what am I talking about? Oh, this is the warm hammer news. Okay, and then also now on uh, the God of War, you know, the famous video game that's been going on for forever now. That one, it's been officially ordered by Amazon. Order. Amazon has ordered, has put down its spear or its palette saying we demand a show of God of War. So it looks like now it's on early production or maybe just got greenlit. They're still throwing the hooray party for it. But we're going to have a God of War series. And um, I wonder what uh, era it's going to start with and when it's going to be, you know? It's mm-hmm. going to start, like, you know, back in the mythological in the Greece, in uh, Ragnarok, or, no, I'm sorry, in uh, Midgar, or whatever the fuck it's called. I'd say they're probably going to start it from uh, Greece. Yeah. But I would say I would want Christopher Judge for it, the guy who actually voice acted. But mm-hmm. if it's going to be like a younger Kratos, then I think they should shoot for someone younger. Younger cat. Mm-hmm. Um, I like that. Uh, we spoke about him. Uh, Mbaku. I forgot his name. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That Some he was a... Uh, judge or something? Uh, Chris, I can't remember. Christopher Judge. Yeah, yeah, him. And uh, it's just rumors and stuff like that. We just got to see also how his head looks bald as well. You know, if he has a funny shape to head, it's not going to work, you know? Yeah. It has a pristine, crisp, bald head, you know? Yeah. Or nice you know what? Head. Just put the rock in. <laughs> I mean, it w- I'm not, I mean, it would work. It would, but no. he's kind of old now. It wouldn't work. No, John but knowing Cena. the... John Cena is yeah, even John like Cena. the same age. <laughs> <laughs> They're both old. I know John Cena's like very tall man, right? But I don't think of him as a tall man. Imagine like, uh, you know, yeah, it'd have to be tall, right? I was gonna say, imagine someone like Aaron Taylor Johnson, because he's like Jack now. But I mean, yeah, I could he's see pretty it. short too, though. I know I could see it. He's not that tall. Though. Yeah, no, but then it's also too. It's like same thing with Tom Cruise. They make him look semi tall in his movies, and he's he not tall. He doesn't look semi tall. He looks semi tall. He looks short, bro. Nah, there's some shots where they put him on like a little jump box, a little lift, and then compared to like Aaron, he's okay. John, uh, Tom, Tom Cruise is short, short, right? Yeah. Short, short, keen. Hashtag short keens, right? Hashtag short keens. And uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson, he's how how tall would you say he is? Like five five, nine. That's five, tall ten. enough, I think. It's not tall enough to where it's it's not short enough to where it's weird, you know. But uh, I'll prefer, I don't know, uh, we'll see. And then it's also the voice, like, yeah. uh, uh, what's it called? Oh! Like, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, the the first voice actor for Kratos has, like, a really intense, like, voice and mm-hmm. everything. Yeah. And then, hopefully, hopefully, and imagine we get multiple ones, and then they introduce his son later on. Mm-hmm. And hopefully they do the scene where they he kills his wife and daughter. Shout out, killing your wife and daughter. Do you think it would happen like that, or do you think they would? It would be like a different storyline. I, I think, feel like people wouldn't like it if it was like a different storyline. Yeah, I mean, of course they're gonna do their own spin on things, but I think hopefully, hopefully maybe, because I'm hoping we might like look. I don't know. It'll say I think it'll say true to most of it, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, okay, and then uh, we also have some news on the dead or, um there. Deadpool 3 is going to be starring filming in May, starring Hugh Jacks and Ryan Reds. 
Huey Jackson, Ryan Rhodes. Mm-hmm. Damn, I, I'm I'm proud of myself that I remember. That's and, uh, what I called them. Directed by the same uh, director that he worked with in Free Guy, Levy? right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, finishing off the Levy trilogy. <laughs> Sorry, Levy. <laughs> the Levy trilogy. That's what I said. Yeah. 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 Just repeating it. Yeah. I like how it sounded. Yeah. So I wanted to repeat it. Yeah. Starring uh, Ryan Reds. Hashtag Jakes. Ryan Reds. And Hugh Jacks. Hashtag uh, The Greatest Showsman. Yeah. You know what? We need a Greatest Showsman too. Starring Zach Efron. He's in the first one, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, you still haven't seen it? No. Nah. You haven't lived. I don't watch musicals. You saw Hamilton, though. Not all of it. I didn't finish yeah, it. Yeah, this one's 10 times better. Uh this is some of the, not saying this much. is cinema. This is cinema. No, you like that. You like Hamilton. No, I didn't. Fucking nerd. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't have a fucking chess game in the middle of it. Oh, oh. You didn't have fucking Warhammer. <laughs> I'm sorry. It wasn't streamed on Twitch. Oh, man. Why are you coming from my throat today? That's crazy. I'm just saying. You're just Dang, you're a hater. You're the hater. You think you know someone. Yeah. It's funny. It's funny what time's house. Whenever someone uh, shows their true colors. Damn. And wearing that cowboy shirt on the day they lost, huh? That's crazy. Hey, represent on day every day. Doesn't matter when to lose, rain or shine. Not even What's from it? Dallas. Doesn't matter. Are you? Uh, yeah. No. I was born there. You were born there? Yeah. On another country? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's yeah. crazy. Unknown place. I was born in uh, Dallas, uh, Georgia. <laughs> Or I think it's Louisiana. I forgot. There's another couple of states that have uh, Dallas as a city. That's yeah, true. Yeah. So Dallas, I'm one, I name my cat Dallas. 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 Out of Dallas. And then, uh, <laughs> was, <laughs> that made me lose my place. Uh, Doing part two has wrapped up filming. Yeah. I'm so excited for that. Timothy Chalamet. 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 Fuck. Y'all Oscar fucking- Isaac. Uh, he died. Jason Momoa. Uh, he's in, it's a, it's complicated. He's in there. Uh, yeah. And then also Austin Butler as well. Shout out Zendaya. Shout out mm-hmm. Austin Butler. Uh, Batista. He, he does the Batista bomb on Timothy. Shout out Baby Yoda. Shout he's out. Not, he's not in it, but yeah, shout out Baby Yoda anyway. Mm-hmm. Shout out. Hey, 24. Next day. Got him running back. And then that's Raptor filming. I actually just watched, uh, Dune part one again. Over uh, last night, and it's it it's an incredible movie. I yeah. love it, and uh, a lot of lore and stuff like that. It makes me want to buy the whole book series and stuff. Yeah, you should. I should. Mm. Yeah, and uh, it's very, it's very like, yeah, it's very Dune. That's the best way. and nerdy. Yeah. It's like the best kind of nerdy. It's a better Star Wars. Yeah, it's the original Star Wars. Hashtag being Dune original, its own thing, and being ripped off by other projects. That are become more famous than them. Yeah, exactly. And then uh, also too, uh, we had the first uh, teaser trailer for Scream Six: Killing in New York. Hey, hey, I'm killing here. I'm hey, killing hey, here. Hey, get out the way. I'm Come on. slashing here. Hey, get out the way. Come on. Uh, what do you expect me to do? Go on, woo. I don't get no respect. I don't get no respect. So what I do? I start killing people. Get out the way. <laughs> <laughs> It's a nice twist. It's a we bit. don't talk like that. <laughs> Stop fucking talking like that. Oh, y'all fucking. Are you Taurus to come in here thinking we talk like that? Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, there's there's like a, there's like a video. There's this guy. He's like, hey, I'm walking here. He's like, you know, he's visiting New York. And I, I don't know if you've seen it, but then like the lady walks right back past him. She's like, we don't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> and hey, he was like, forget about it. Forget me. about <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a, it's a nice twist. <laughs> yeah, it's a very nice twist. I love it because it's different and mm. it's a uh, it's something that like it's it brings it out of the city. But now it's just like it sounds crazy because it's like it's not in the suburbs no more. Yeah, hashtag suburbs. And it is also starring the what's her name the Jenny uh, that plays Wednesday. Uh, it's Jenny something. Yeah, not and Reyes. I'm, Ortega? Oh, yeah, there you go. Ortega. I think it's Jenny Ortega. I think yeah. it's Jenny Ortega. And uh, I think it's funny. I remember people, like, some tweets about it. They're saying, like, what, now she's in everything? And I was like, she was in the first and the other one. Yeah. So it's like, I and mean. she was in uh, Wednesday. Yeah, and that just came out. That, that, that show is popping right now. Popping yeah. Off. I haven't seen it, but it looks interesting. I've seen some clips. Yeah, I mean, 
I'm sure it's good. It's just not. I didn't even know it was like based off the Adams family because I wasn't. I've never really been into the Adams family. I only like watched like a bit of. It's weird. I mean, it's funny. I watched part of it. I liked it, but like, it's not enough for me to be like, I'm gonna put this on right now, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I thought it was funny because they're saying it's like what well, now she's in everything, and I was like, well, she was in the first one, and it's not like this one. The Wednesday popped off, and now they're filming it. They've been, it's already been done, you know, or not been done, but like it's already like. She was already part of the universe before Wednesday even came around. I don't see what the issue is, though. It's like, you know, every every few years, like, the, a new actor comes up, and they start getting their runs in movies, and they become, like, the big names. Like, right now, I would say probably, like, like Jonathan Majors, like, Henry Cavill. Timothy and, as well. Yeah, Timothy Chamele. You know, he's up and coming, like, in, with Dune and everything, and then mm-hmm. people want him for, like, even bigger projects now. Yeah. So it's like, it just happens, like. Uh, with with the years that go by, because it's like you know Ben Affleck's old now, Christian Bale's pretty old now, mm-hmm. and then like you the know, names obviously, that you've like seen the, all yeah. the time. Like one uh, actor, um, this also ties into a movie that just came out, Avatar. Sam uh, Worthington, I believe his name. Oh yeah, the main, yeah, He went through his run where he was in the shit of fucking movies. Yeah. Like for one thing, Avatar, the um, Clash of the Titans, and there's a couple other ones which I liked him as an actor, but I noticed he was going through his run as well. But it's not a bad thing. All actors, hopefully, the lucky ones, I guess, mm-hmm. they're in work, you know? And the same thing with even, like, uh, like let's say, uh, our favorite actor, Miles Teller. He's going through his run now. Yeah. Instead of, you know, being every couple of years, it's, like, consistent projects we're seeing out of them. But I'm, of course, going to watch it. It's going to come out in March 10th or somewhere around there. So I'm definitely going to watch it. Super fucking excited for it. It looks like a banger. I love the series. And hashtag being a serial killer in New York. (laughs) One of my favorites. It's interesting. Yeah, I can't wait to see that, too. Yeah. Are you actually going to? Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll even watch the past one. I know I was talking mess about it, but I was just doing that to hate. Uh, Yeah, I mean... I think you, I think you just don't like that I hate on so many things that you're you're semi interested in, and like that makes you double down on liking things, and like that makes you hate anything that I'm into. Yeah, that's an interesting theory. I don't know if it's correct though. It's like um, no, it's it's probably it's probably right. It's like uh, do you remember that whole thing with the multiverse of madness? Yeah, and like hey, I was right though. It wasn't bad. Uh, it was okay. <laughs> And I remember you, it's, it's like this right now. And I remember I kept on talking so much shit about it. And then uh, whenever the Batman was about to running doing its run, you I kept on talking very highly of it. And you're like, man, fuck this, like stop, like or you're like, us and we dumb or whatever. I wanted it to be so bad, but it wasn't. Yeah, sorry to disappoint. <laughs> like the Chris and Bell line. Sorry. Damn to- you, Robert Pattinson. <laughs> just just an old man just like swinging his fist like at the clouds. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah i'm a hater through and through to be to be honest though so. yeah yeah shout out to you hater. yeah shout out it happens you know um but yeah uh, speaking of batman and uh dc uh james gunn says their slate is ready to go what do you think about this um or do you want to save this for later when we kind of get into like the uh yeah yeah just like yeah that's gonna be like a whole thing like a whole rant yeah <laughs> definitely is and then also too uh we ha- we had the first teaser trailer to the barbie Mm-hmm. Shout out Barbies. Shout out uh, Margot Mommy. I mean Robbie. <laughs> Bad woman. And um, yeah, it came out. Um, what did you think of it, John? It's interesting. Like I, I, like I even saw like uh, uh what's his name? Um, uh, the the actor, the uh, from which movie? Uh, he's Ryan Gosling. Yeah, Ryan Gosling. There you go, Ryan Gosling. Um, and I can't quite get like the vibe because it's gonna be like barbie's just like there it's kind of thing or it's just like i think it's i feel like it's gonna be such a not like a woke thing but it's gonna be more of a breaking down of the character kind of thing because obviously we have marco robbie but there's multiple other characters playing barbie as well same thing with ryan gosling uh i forgot his name the one that plays in um shang chi he plays Kent as well. They both do, and it's a different thing. And, like, but it sounds like it's going to be, like, a, like, breaking down the character or the concept of it, but then also staying true to what Barbie is. Because it's, like, Marco Robbie, like, she, like, you know, whenever she was huge, 10 feet tall, whatever, 
or no, like multiple stories told. Like she, it looks very authentic. Like that's what Barbie is. That's typically what the dolls are. And then the city and stuff like that. And some of the first looks that we have seen as well. And then it's, I don't, kids, it's not a, it's, I know kids are going to watch it and stuff, but it's not, it's not just like really the like kids. It, yeah. It's not just a kids movie. And I'm just so confused on what it is. What I'm excited for. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. I for sure agree. I think it'll be cute. Fresh out the presses, we have the Oppenheimer first trailer has been released. We haven't seen it yet, but um, we're going to be watching it very mm-hmm. shortly. We're going to do a reaction video, so please look out for that on YouTube, on our YouTube. Uh, YouTube and then probably, you know, like reels and shorts and whatever other sh- uh, short platform, yeah. uh, short uh, video platform. Yeah. I wouldn't be doing a live reaction to that. We haven't seen it, so yeah, and uh, that's something a, new for us for sure. Yeah, and that and also too, even talking about Oppenheimer, that's a movie we've been talking about for a while, and it's a movie we're uh, pretty excited for. Yeah, Cillian Murphy. Yeah, shout out him. He's one of my favorite actors. I would probably say. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Love them Peakies. and then <laughs> and uh, also uh, Christopher Nolan. Mm-hmm. But then. Uh, yeah, I think that pretty much wraps up the news for this week. Uh, there's a lot of DC news, but we're going to dive into it right now in our DC Slate coverage. Hashtag DC Slate. Oh, I whistled when I did that. <laughs> that was kind of cute. I do that by accident a lot now. I whistle like mid while I'm talking. I'm like, oh, sh- I saw you know you're Salvi. No, I'm playing. I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that has anything to do with it. Okay. Now, let's look at this. Let's look at what DC is. DC is DC Comics, Detective Comics, Comics. Doesn't make no... That's what DC stands for? Yeah, Detective Comics. <laughs> and, okay, now let's look at the movies we have had, right? Boom. Man of Steel. Love it or hate it. It was definitely a movie. And then we had... Batman vs. Superman. And then we had Wonder Woman. Then we had Justice League, the first cut. And, yes, we... You know how we feel about that. Then we had Aquaman. And now lined up. Lined, oh, then Shazam. I always forget about Shazam. That was actually a really good movie. It's just no one ever really remembers it. And now lined up in the canon right now, we have a Flash movie, a Blue Beetle movie, and Aquaman 2. And all, and then I forgot about one Wonder Woman 2 came out two years ago. Mm-hmm. No one liked it. So yeah, there's that. No one did. And now... We're going to have a new president. We have a new daddy in D.C., uh, James Gunn and the other guy. And now they're going to do uh, – there's a lot of news talking stuff about – oh, then Black Adam. I forgot about that one. Like and that. now it looks like they're doing a hard reboot on the whole D.C. universe. They're cutting down everything. Henry Cavill confirmed to get the fuck out. Rumors on Aquaman out as well. Same thing with Gal Gadot as well. And also, Ezra Miller, um, he's too controversial. He, they're too confer- controversial to even be talked about right now. <laughs> I just want to say, like, just imagine everyone gets booted out, but they're all, like, you know, they're good celebrities. Like, they're good actors. They got good PR and all that. But then Ezra Miller is the only one who stays. That would be hilarious <laughs> if that happened. They're the glue that kept everything <laughs> Yeah, because the way I see it, I think most likely they're just they're gonna be like, all right, throw everything in the trash, mm-hmm. or they can just say it's a reboot from the Flashpoint and then do a completely new thing, new cast, new everything. They could do that, or just throw everything in the bin and not do anything in story to justify the the reboot. And um, would yeah, would you would you limit yourself to that though? Like, if you were in charge of everything, would you limit yourself to that, or would you want to like? You know, if you're going to reboot anyway, just, like, go, like... Full on? Yeah, just... I could see that, but it's... In a, I'm not exactly happy with any this, almost for a part of me, but I understand it. Because DC has just been a shitstorm for, for, since forever. Mm-hmm. It always has been. And it's like, oh, okay, wha- okay, be upset about, like, Henry Cavill not having another run at Superman, right? Another Man of Steel and stuff, right? But then it's like, how long has it been since the first Man of Steel, right? It's been fucking, like, forever, you know? So it's like, it's not like we were getting projects anyway, you know? We weren't getting movies, so it's... 
it doesn't like it doesn't matter because we never got it to start with, you know? Yeah, exactly. And it's like we're more upset about like losing that hope, but then it's like the hope we shouldn't be this hopeful for this long anyway, you know? And it's it's clean house, so now he can do anything he wants with the universe. Mm-hmm. And one thing that that bothers me though, do you remember what he said about like Clark Kent? This would be not a origin story, but it'd be new younger Clark Kent, right? Smallville. Yeah. But uh well he's already gonna be Superman and stuff. So he'll yeah. be in the big city, you know, Metropolis, hashtag Metropolis, right? But Henry Cavill was technically a young Superman whenever we left them, you know? Mm-hmm. Like uh whenever he died in Batman versus Superman, he barely started, you know, pulling like doing Superman things, you know. So still very new. And I understand just to clean slate, wipe everything off the board and stuff, but it's what do you think about it? I personally wouldn't go the Smallville route or, like, the young Superman route. It's not too I, young. It'll be a like young adult. Mm. It'll be, like, most likely it'll be the reporter or whatever kind of thing. Oh, I mean, I'm fine with that. But the way it sounded, it was like they're going to be, like, Smallville young. And I was mm. just like, nah, I don't, I don't, I can't really vibe with that. Because then it's like that would be so far back and then people are going to want all this stuff and it wouldn't make sense for Jason Momoa to be Lobo at that point because he Mm -hmm. comes, like, way down the line. He's, like, one of the Justice League's, like, greatest threats, right? I mean, he's he's a recurring villain in the show. Mm -hmm. So, like... What show are you talking about? uh, Justice League. I think uh, Unlimited. Oh, okay. Because he's, like, a bounty hunter. I'm thinking... Okay, I apologize. I haven't seen Justice League. Mm. But no, I'm sorry, continue. No, that's all I had to say. Like, uh, like it just it just wouldn't make sense because, I mean, we've already had the Justice League, so Lobo is one that faces the Justice League. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really like come before that. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's one of the biggest like hitters for him, you know, on Justice League level. But then it's like, I'm, I'm it's like it's just kind of like one of those things. It's like I understand why they're doing it and stuff like that. It makes sense, and but it's just more like now it's just giving us more hope, you know. And it's like, what's really gonna fucking happen? And most likely, James Gunn can get this off the ground, and it's just about you know pumping projects out, right? And I'm guessing they're gonna start off hopefully with the Superman movie, maybe. And like, oh, for uh, one other, I think who would you like to be cast as new Superman? Uh, it's kind of tough. So would you want him to be a big buff man, or would you like him to be like a little slimmer man, like uh, Superman Returns or the Christopher Reed? I think some. I think some like like Brandon Routh would be good, mm-hmm. like his type of like physique. Yeah. Or I was thinking, think of like similar physique on how like you know uh, Rob Bat Bat and Bat is. Yeah. Like muscular and stuff like that, but not like. Henry like Cavill, huge. where he has to, like, he can't even wipe his own butt. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, that. Mm-hmm. Um, Big name or unknown name? What do you think? Honestly, I would like someone that's not as big. Mm-hmm. Or, I mean, because... Obviously, you know, someone that can make, like, their name and career, like, off of this movie kind of thing. I think that would be refreshing. Um, someone new. Someone who really looks the part. And would do a good job with it because i mean there's a lot of talented actors out there Mm -hmm. not just the big names and i feel like Mm -hmm. when people think about who they want to get casted into these roles they would think of a big name type of thing you know and then they act like there's not like a million different other uh actors and stuff like that Mm -hmm. from like smaller projects or even like from tv as well yeah um would you want him to be the same kind of uh not to be woke or anything but like the same kind of look that they all have like, you know how if you lined up all the Supermans throughout time that played him, they'll have similar features and stuff like that. Obviously, all white, black-haired man with this same hairstyle, which is with the character and stuff. Are you referring that to, like, archetype the, kind of the thing. black Superman that was kind of, like, a rumor or, like, talked about a actually, little bit? Actually, that's actually, I heard another rumor saying that's still in fucking production right now, mm. which I'm just like, how did that survive anything? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the other thing. Not saying really a whole new color of a person, but I'm just saying you know that architect where they all look very similar. Yeah, like I don't, something I don't different. Really, I don't really think. I mean, there's not much really you can change about him. I mean, he's like a, 
he's like a plain looking guy really mm -hmm. i mean i'm not saying like the actors are like plain looking guys but like he's like a normal dude that works at like uh he's like a writer for like a big like writing company mm -hmm. and he Demi just so Pani. happens to be like a superhero mm -hmm. i don't think like someone like like uh, batman would definitely have to look like kind of like a playboy like good looking like rich boy like kind of thing mm -hmm. but like superman like doesn't matter to me too much i mean he's always gonna look like with like the, the comeback hair mm -hmm. or whatever but then also we see suit. a lot more of his face though true true especially with the justice league mm -hmm. um yeah i mean yeah just because i just, say I'm that because he doesn't whatever mask. really yeah same i just wonder what route they're gonna go for this because it's and also james gunn is writing the new superman as well i believe but then it was crushing news though about the henry cavill news so mm -hmm. about him being out and it's just like yeah especially i heard he just released a video saying like there's gonna be like bigger things to come like stay like excited and everything and then just <laughs> just for that to get shot down i guess it was a little premature i guess he was hopeful and it just didn't work out at the time and i wonder too was it like as soon as like james got into i guess in power or whatever there he was just like they already had kind of like a couple of things laid out for him and i was like nah fuck that and which is more like or I remember he said he had a presentation or whatever. And then that was his biggest option that he wanted to do, what he's going to do, which at the time we still don't really know. It's supposed to come out early next month or sometime next month about what the slate is going to actually contain. Oh, and then let's, have, let's get into our favorite segment, Rock Talk. <laughs> uh, it sounds like The Rock is upset over this. Or, you know, the whole new Slate, because he had projects he wanted to push, and, like, his mm -hmm. beef with Henry as well. And it looks like all that is gone now. And he's been pushing, he was pushing Superman so fucking hard, too. Yeah. And it looks like that's not going to happen. No, I don't think so. And after, uh, and I thought Black Adam was actually pretty successful. Um, I really liked how it looked, and the little Superman cameo at the end was, like, mm -hmm. like a little wink, you know? Mm -hmm. Um obviously the rock wanted more things to come more things to happen and uh i just uh it just didn't work out and i actually saw someone tweet i don't know why like they even said that but apparently people agreed with them saying that the rock never wanted anything to do with like shazam mm -hmm. who uh, is a big name in the dc universe right mm -hmm. and um he was like selfish just wanted to like worry about black adam and himself which I don't really agree because, I mean, at that point, why would you even agree with anything when everything's just going to get thrown out anyway? It's mm -hmm. like, what's the point even, like, to even talk about it? Like, there's no point in talking about it because we know it's not going to happen. Yeah. The thing that I heard differently or the way I interpret that, I'm pretty sensitive to me, was that they were talking about uh, there was rumors and stuff that um, he had opportunities to do cameos in the Shazam movies, one or two, one or the other. I can't remember exactly how that played out. But he didn't want to do those movies because he wanted to do his own thing completely, disconnecting himself from Shazam. And also, too, if you want to go into his thing with uh, Superman, right? But then at the end of the day, though, his villain or, you know, he's the vil his story starts with uh, Shazam. Shazam, you know? And then uh, he didn't want to be in those, or the rumor goes, as rumors go, that he didn't want to really be in those movies or to even do a cameo for those movies. Mm -hmm. Hearsay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. And then it's like, and also too, from the slates, from anything that has been coming out, there has been nothing that has been rumored or anything that uh, Rock was ever going to fight Shazam at some point either. That's what it looked like as well. Yeah. Because they did like a teaser for him in the first Shazam because they said they had the, t the chairs. And then the only chair that was missing was Shazam sitting there. And then they were like, well, like, um, well, he's family. So it's like whenever we finally do see him or meet him, he's family. And that's how they left it off at. Mm -hmm. And then also, too, we have Shazam 2 coming out next year as well. I forgot about that one. <laughs> when is it coming out? Uh, next, I forgot when, but it's coming out sometime next year. But then that's like the end of that, right? And mm -hmm. then like when Flash comes out, it'll be the end of that. And then Aquaman 2, like it'll be the end of that, right? Yeah, and think. Aquaman is going to be the last thing. It's going to come out December next year. So that will mark, I guess, the end of this iteration of the DCEU. So after that, it looks like everything's wiping board. 
Um, what do you think about Gakudeo, though? I mean, she looks the part, but she can't really act. I thought she was great in that. She was okay. Yeah, I think the first, second one was ass. and But I think the first one, she was really good in, in uh, the Zack Snyder cut as well. I don't know. Zack Snyder verse, huh? The the Snyder cut. <laughs> I'm not joking. Uh, I mean, she really looks the part, but I can't see. I mean, it looks like they're cutting ties with everyone. Yeah. So no, yeah, that's, it sounds hitting. like she's out too. Yeah, and uh, we'll probably, I mean, I just, one thing that I wish they would have added in the Justice League was bringing in, like, the Green Lantern and Martian Manhunter. I know there was a little cameo for Martian Manhunter, but he wasn't, like, active, like, within the mm-hmm. movies and everything. I just, yeah. yeah. And then there's also the thing with the um, Green Lantern. I for- completely forgot about this. I'm guessing it's canceled. There's supposed to be Green Lantern's corpse show as well. So I'm guessing that's most, I don't know where that's at right now. Maybe he's getting the poop, maybe not. Who knows right now? And um yeah, that's another project I completely forgot about too. And they did the casting for no wait, they're gonna do a re revamp of it, if I remember correctly. Because they're gonna do like Guy Gardner, Guy Gardner, I wanna say. And now they're gonna they were gonna change it to uh John Sewer. No, John Stewart? Yeah. It's John. John Stewart. Yeah, John Stewart. So there's that. And who knows where that's going to end up being, if it's still going on or not. Yeah. And it's just, <laughs> it's like, I understand, like, in the world of things, and DC and stuff like that, things necessarily aren't going well, whatever, right? But then, like, some of the characters we do have are beloved and, like, appreciated and stuff like that. But yeah. then it's like, for a new beginning, they have to burn down the old planet, you know? Yeah. And uh, I wonder what they're going to do with the shows as well. Because, like, you know, like, let's say our show, Titans or Doom Patrol. I wonder if those are going to continue to go on or those are going to get the boot right now, which is my prediction. And then, that, like, Peacemaker. Oh, well, yeah. I wonder that, too, because that was his show. But yeah, because they're, they're getting another season for sure, the way it ended. Yeah, but I can see it not, though. No. You know what? They're probably going to cancel it. Yeah. Because at the very end, they showed the Justice League. You remember? Yeah. I mean, and then even if it's James Gunn's project, I don't, I don't think it's safe because I think he is trying to see the bigger picture with things, yeah. right? Oh, my God. it's it's That makes me, that actually makes me sad. Peacemaker was really good. Yeah. And, but then, though, like, if he would even cancel his own show, I think that shows good commitment to the, to work of it, you know, mm-hmm. that he's even willing to cancel his own thing. Yeah, it's not like bias or anything. Yeah. Imagine he doesn't. That'd be funny. <laughs> <laughs> it goes on for like 10 seasons. Yeah. <laughs> and then Peacemaker was pretty good. I actually think I want to rewatch that. Yeah, no, it's, it definitely has that rewatchability for sure. And, uh, well, we kind of mentioned it, but uh, Jason Momoa is uh, no longer going to be Aquaman, but he's going to stay with DC mm-hmm. and come back as Lobo. Rumors, um, more rumors, but yeah, yeah, more rumors. But he really does look the part. And uh, what do you think about like this? I mean, it's it's funny, I think, and I just don't know what to think of it. Really, to me, it just seems like they're rebooting this whole thing just so they can make him Lobo. Yeah, it was <laughs> it's all just surrounded <laughs> by him. <Yeah. laughs> just for that one casting, they're going to do it. Yeah. And I still think that like, he could have to play both. No, nah, I think so. But uh, what I'm interested to see is, do you think they're going to make Aquaman like a white boy again? Or are they going to come back with a... White hair, blonde hair. Yeah. Or are they oh. going to like kind of go to like the same route? Uh, I think it's most likely they're going to go back to just, uh, traditional routes. And um, because uh, I'm not sure if you've seen it, there's like a leaked thing with a new logo for DCEU, and it has the silhouettes, and it looks like the silhouettes from the new 52. And that's more traditional, like a little bit yeah. more updated, you think, but just silhouette of it. And then it has Aquaman, and then he has a little fluffy, little wavy hair, short hair kind of thing. It looks like that's what out there going to do. And I just wonder, because it's like, it's like, oh, fuck. Because I'm, I think way too much about this all the fucking time now. Like, if you look at, like, the lineup on how they did, like, uh, the Avengers, right? It's, I guess I'm just saying that just because that's the only successful 
uh, universe has has happened, right? The way that they line things up, yeah, they probably have plans. They did have plans for like you know to end up at Avengers, right? That was the plan. You know, they popped out three or four movies, and boom, Avengers, right? And then they're the only ones that have been successful of being like. Yeah, we're lining up for these movies in the future, right? Yeah, Iron Man, Thor, uh, Captain America, Captain America, and then it was, um, and then uh, Incredible Hulk as well. Even though it's sideline, yeah. then Avengers, right? And each movie had its own like cliffhangers at the end, right? Or like um, cameos, post credit scenes, whatever. And then that was kind of like one of the few universes where it's been successful in that way, and like. For them to be like, this is going to be our 10-year plan, which is what James Gunn is planning on doing. Is it going to be able to work out that way? Because you know how Disney fumbles the bag so many fucking times, you know? Because mm-hmm. even after the flop of Justice League, right? If they would just continue to pump out projects, right? They could have brought it back up, but then they just went on a standstill, like, not doing anything, really. Except for, like, two projects and, like... In the last couple of years or whatever, right? It's like they're just like dumbfounded, like, Ugh, like what do we do? Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But then, um, I like Jason Momoa though as Aquaman though. I thought he was, he, it was, it was a very, it was a very Zack Snyder thing though that casting because it was like, oh, this is the bad boy, you know? Like this is, this is, this is, this is not your grandpappy's Aquaman. This is a cool Aquaman. <laughs> Grandpappy's Aquaman. He has tattoos. He has the long hair. He looks like a motherfucking banker. He's a bad boy. This is this is not your typical blonde white boy Aquaman. It's not that. We made him cool. He doesn't talk to fish or shit like that. He's cool. <laughs> and then you know that traditional fucking orange and green thing? Yeah. I was like, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. That's Gold and green. Whatever. <laughs> we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. That's what Zack Snyder said. He specifically said that. He was like, we're not doing that traditional bullshit costume. He said, so that's why he had that little armor kind of thing in mm-hmm. the first one. And that's what he had. And <laughs> at first I thought it was funny. But then Uncle, no, Jason Moe, though, I think he's a great actor. And his personality still shows, even him being a tough guy. He's like, I feel like he's a teddy bear kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And it shows even with his performances and stuff like that. Especially in Aquaman, the first Aquaman. Only I, only Aquaman at the time right now. Mm-hmm. That didn't happen. <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. Would you like for them to go back to the typical white boy? Honestly, like, I really like Jason Momoa. Mm-hmm. I honestly wouldn't. I wouldn't care. Oh, I, I don't think I'd care. Yeah. And also, too, I guess I feel okay with it because I know, not saying Lobo, I kind of don't want him as Lobo just because I just don't. I don't know. But That uh, feels like really like the fans were pressuring like for that. Really? That's what it sort of felt like because I would always see people like saying, uh, like, he should be Lobo, he should be Lobo. Like, the casting's perfect or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, what was I going to say? Um, because he's still going to work at the end of the day. You know, he still has work. You still getting other things to do. So it's like mm-hmm. we're always going to see Jason Ball, at least for the time being, right? And then, uh, oh, yeah, he was in the sh- seed that just wrapped up. I'm, I'm on season three now on that. Yeah. And I just don't know. Like, it's cool. Okay. Now let's talk about the one of the more controversial uh, castings, Flash. I think any young-ish man can play Flash. So. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's easy casting, really. Yeah. yeah. So, but then our vote, Jonathan's vote, uh, John's vote, <laughs> John's vote, it's going to be uh, Grant Gustin be starring in the new Flash movie. No. Yes. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Why not? Skip, skip, skip Barry, Barry Allen. Go to Wally West. Bring in Cameron Monogam. Solid. That's all you need. I don't know why you have such a heart on for him. He's a good looking guy. No, I mean, yeah, he is. And that he's going to be in the new uh, Jedi Survivor. Yeah. Hopefully he gets a show eventually, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I feel like uh, I feel like the only reason it's like still they're like still making it a video game is because a lot of people enjo- really enjoy and appreciate that like experience of the storytelling through the game. Kind of like God of War or mm-hmm. like Elden Ring. 
I haven't played Elden Ring, have you? Me either. I haven't. Um, but my friend keeps trying to, be to get, trying to get me to play it. And I don't want to because it just seems like a grind. I don't know. Yeah. I want to, but I know it's, I'll get addicted to it, you know? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. That's why, yeah, that's why I have a hard time in shows and stuff. That's why I've been, like, really good right now with watching C. I've been taking breaks. And I normally don't, and it's hard for me to stop, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No means no, John. Yeah, no means no. And uh, right here, y- we have that Ben Affleck wants to direct a DC film. Yeah, and then that was something that uh, James Gunn tweeted out as well, saying oh. about they just need to find the right project for him. And um, I know he has directed a couple things, and even the Batman movie that was supposed to happen was supposed to be starring and directing him. Oh, really? Yeah, and I think it was going to be him duking out with Death's Deathstroke. Yeah. That's like a... No, nah, don't say it. It's like a low-tier villain for him. It's not low to your villain, just because he like I know how like in the in the show and stuff like that. That's he always fights the tier team Titans, but he's technically not a low tier villain. It. I don't even. I don't even. Be. I don't even mean it like that. I just oh. feel like because he's an assassin, mm-hmm. it's not someone that he's like gonna have to immediately face. It's like someone would have to hire him for Batman to even have to deal with mm-hmm. him. And then if you remember in the uh, Zack Snyder cut, that's where they lump things off. Mm. They, uh, I think it was also in the original cut as well. That was the post credit scene was um, uh, he pulled up to Lex Luthor in the first original cut. He was like, we need to make a league of our own. And then the Zack Snyder cut, he was like, here's some information for you. Bruce Wayne is Batman. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So it looked like that was always the intention. Yeah. I liked him in, the, in Titans, though. He was great in that. I loved him. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. He was just toying with those kids. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> but uh, like uh, even in like the Zack Snyder cut, like you remember the end where they have like the uh, it's like Batman with the Joker, and that's like the more like grittier like nightmare like, doesn't scene. mess around like yeah the nightmare scene with mm-hmm. evil Superman, and um, I feel like even like they could have done something more with that too but you know i know everyone wanted to see that for sure yeah yeah then like the whole evil superman because that was the plan or whatever because i think i think the plan was like if you're going back to the original slate with zach and everything a couple movies and then the next justice league was going to be um something along the lines of like something justice wise where Mm -hmm. Lois dies or whatever because Lois was always the key. If you remember, you're like Flash trying to try time travel and tell him. And then it was supposed to be the story of them trying to go back in time to stop um, the killing of Lois Lane or whatever. But then Superman turns evil. You know, he hooks up with uh, Darkseid. And then that happens. And that thing was supposed to leave on a cliffhanger. And then Justice League 3 was supposed to pick up from there in the thing, if mm-hmm. I remember how it's. Wow, I had to dig deep for that information in my head right now. Yeah, it's crazy what what, what could have been, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but now with this new slate, um, I feel like they're gonna have to find some new uh young, young cats. young keyword keyword young, mm-hmm. uh, and up and coming actors, mm-hmm. um, because like if it's gonna be yeah, like 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 Hen, mm-hmm. and because it's especially if it's gonna be like a decade's worth of projects coming out. Mm-hmm. then they're gonna need like some people who can like reprise the role for quite a bit, cause you mm-hmm. know like. Like Robert Downey Jr., um, Chris Evans. Um, but then if you can think uh, about like Robert, though, they got him at like forty. But he looked good though. Yeah, I'm just saying like they just need those good old fashioned Hollywood mm-hmm. drugs. Yeah, for yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. The dietitianists mm-hmm. and stuff, you know, the young. The chicken, broccoli, and rice. Yeah, and then uh, what's that other thing? The little Lazar Lazarus pin. The Lazarus pin. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. That Tom Cruise uh, dying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but then, yeah, no, it makes you think, though. And well, Okay, let's say, hypothetically, you're slate. Let's say they told you, John t- texted you, right? He was like, hey, I'm James Gunn. I know you're John from the It's What We Do podcast. I need you. I've just been bullshitting. I have nothing planned. So please <laughs> tell me what should I do right now for the slate, for the movies coming up. What do we need to do first? What is priority number one? What's going to be the second, third, and when are we going to do another Justice League? I'll be like, stop right there. 
Throw all of that out. Mm -hmm. Dragon Ball. <laughs> Dragon get Ball. Get in. Get Virgil Ortiz Jr. to be Superman. I mean, to be Goku. Make him grow his hair out. And there. That's all you need. Now I'm playing. Um, <laughs> if, uh, that if, man will not let his hair grow out. Yeah, I know. I know. That's what. The, it would be funny, though. But, um, yeah. So, what I would do for, you know, f as far as, like, casting, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I'd say... For Wonder Woman, get I that get that girl from uh, Scream. Oh um, Jesus Christ! For uh, why is she in everything now? Yeah, no, she's in everything, bro. She's in everything. I'm gonna keep it that way. I think um, she's too way too young because she looks like nah. she's in her twenties, but she looks like she's still like fourteen. All right, so maybe not her. Maybe just bring Gal Gadot back. Okay. Okay, so, not talking about the casting. Or no, sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no. What were you saying? Oh, just saying about the lineup for movies. That's oh, for the I lineup meant. for movies. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so we get we get Batman. Okay. Solo movie, Batman. Damn. Solo movie, Superman. Mm-hmm. Just every <laughs> just the Justice League. Everyone, Everyone gets their solo, solo movie. <laughs> A good Green Lantern film. Another good Wonder Woman film. Uh huh. I don't think that's possible. Static Shock. A Static Shock film. A show. A Static Shock show. An, an Aquaman. Another Aquaman movie. Um, I this think time he has the, a show. With the, with the blue uh, Static Shock. But it's going to be called Shock Static. With, remember the Michael B. Jordan thing? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm the, it was my idea for that. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so we get everyone gets their like first. Uh, run of movies, um, but Superman and Batman get you know maybe like two or three more for their solo films, um, but all all the while just fighting like their their you know their regular mm -hmm. hometown villains or whatever, um, Batman fighting like uh, Scarecrow, and then I I would like to I would I would like, and then he would fight Bane and then I would want the last villain in his last movie to give him trouble Joker but then he gets away, and becomes like. Um, what is the, uh, like the evil Justice League or like the, uh, uh, Doom something? The, or, are you talking about like the <sighs> crime syndicate it has, or something like that? Yeah, because it has like uh, like Gorilla, Sonic. Gorilla was it Gorilla Grodd? Yeah, and then has a uh, Brainiac and mm -hmm. um yeah, just all of them and Lex Luthor and everyone. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then kind of would set up for that. Okay, what do you think about bringing Robert Pattinson into, or being him being the start of the DCEU? That would be so amazing. And also another thing. But I remember they said that they weren't going to do that. Like yeah, things could change could, now, though, right? James Gunn could just put the, gun, the, the James Gunn to his hand <laughs> and say, this is my James Gunn, and I'm James Gunn. <laughs> and you're going to have to make this part of the DCEU. We're going to have to have Superman to fly in at the very end. And pow. Shoots Matt Reeves. That, Beautiful. That's a very strong possibility. I would love that. Honestly, would love that. That would be so cool. It, to me, it makes the most functioning sense because remember how you're talking about multiple Batman movies, right? Mm -hmm. But then we also have Matt Reeves, though, and him doing his shit. So it's like, how can you, like, you know, it's counter, like, you know, like, how are we going to have, which Batman movie is it? Oh, it's going to be the Rob Hat Batman or the other one, you know? And those are going to be conflicting things, you know. Even though they're not, I'm sure they won't come out at the same time and stuff. But that's me very confusing for the lame, like normal people. Dang, James should have just called you instead, not me. Yeah. And also, too, remember how you said multiple projects, right? Mm -hmm. Also, too, they're going to want to do their team-up movie. Yeah. At what point would you want them to have their team-up movie? I, w I would say not, like, so quick. Because, mm -hmm. you know, like... Um, Iron Man had a few, Thor had a few, and then Captain America had a few. Just one. And then, yeah, so mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to do it, like, straight off the bat. Like, you kind of mm -hmm. have to set, like, that foundation, mm -hmm. introduce the characters, get the audience used to these new actors in, in these roles, mm -hmm. and uh, kind of get more of their uh, setting and, yep. you know, different origins, maybe, if you needed. But... What about, and also this is another thing, 
what is the universe already going to be universe filled with all these things mythical things and stuff like that oh like superhumans are like already like a regular thing kind of yeah or something that's going to be more viewed or developed during the the slate of films but then they like because if you look at like the bad bad versus Superman, those are and the first original suicide squad there's a lot that has already been happening going on right yeah and then over time, that's whenever things went crazy. No, wait. It happened before they start the movie. So we already know this universe is crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And then with the MCU, they went the more like, this is normal and this is the only thing out, out there, right? But then over time, though, they start exploring things that actually things haven't been. It just we didn't talk about things. Just I'm sure just because you know how filming goes and stuff, you know, storylines. But it created like the world. with the X-Men. Yeah, it created the world already. Later on, that was more obvious that things have been weird. You know, like, let's say with Captain Marvel, the that, that show was, no, that movie was a prequel, and then that showed aliens being off planet and stuff, and Eternals, where there was crazy crap happened before. Celestials. Yeah, or like uh, Guardians, where they kidnapped a kid way before the start of anything happening. So would you like a world that introduces it from the beginning or one that makes it seem like it's never been like that? I think the way that the MCU did it, mm-hmm. I think I would that would be more like because you'd get more out of it because it's like you're watching it. Right. And you're like, oh, mm-hmm. oh, my God. Like, this makes so much sense. Like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, Obviously, if you do that part, you just run the risk of like people having to like go to like everything to like know what's going on mm-hmm. but at that point it's like even but, casual viewers are most likely going to go because it's mm-hmm. like something to or do. like do you remember how they did with the uh titans right mm-hmm. before titans like you know before the start of the show and timeline a lot of things have already happened kind of thing and i wonder i'm think that's how it's going to be similar because you know like let's say with the superman show that they're having they're going to um, start from um, him already being Superman and stuff. And it seems like it's going to be more of a crit, um, Superman Returns kind of life. But then I don't know how s- uh, James Gunn is going to do this. Because um, one of the arguments I always hate is people saying that Superman is a boring character and stuff like that. And I think of it more like he can be boring. He can be just your boring, boring ass superhero. It's just obviously how it's written. Do you think that James Gunn has the capability of being able to produce a good Superman story and line his characters, like his characteristics and stuff? I think so. I mean, they could say that, but it's like Henry Cavill didn't get like more than three films. And it's like, I he feel like that's just one. not enough for like. Yeah, he barely had one. I just feel like that's not enough. It's like we didn't even get to know like what kind of Superman Mm-hmm. he was yeah and never then like out. and like the smallville superman like you saw him like when he was like a young kid right and then it was more based around like him like as a person right not yeah. just so much like him and his superpowers and saving people yeah and also too one thing it was it was a nice crutch for the smallville series was just that he didn't have all his powers mm-hmm. like he didn't fly at all and the way he got he got mind control a couple of times but besides that, he didn't have the power of flight, and he wasn't at full strength at those times and stuff. And I think that was a very good thing, just to limit the character and you know the budget as well, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and yeah, because it's like um, I think it's just more of the character. One issue that the char- it could be easily ran into for that character is just him being too powerful. And then how do you bring something like that more grounded, kind of thing, you know? Yeah, because exactly. he has all the power in the world, you know. And it's how are you going to deal with it? And it's about, like, how do you tell a story of difficulties with a god? I think that's where a lot of people, the disconnection comes. How do you sympathize with a god or with God, you know? I think I think the different part about, I think. That's why I like the Sandman. And, you know, I mean, he grows up as, like, just some, like, little farm kid, right? So I guess that's where that comes in. Yeah. But then they're not doing any of that. Or oh, that's what yeah, the stars think. Or Unless I'm, we get I think some flashbacks. Could, yeah. But then it's like, they might as well do fucking Orange Star. You know, at that point, right? <laughs> yeah. Because it's like, 
that's one thing I also thought was interesting. Like, let's say Batman, right? How many origin stories have we had of him? Too many. Yeah. And then uh, Superman? Too many. Two. Yeah, two. Two. Too, too many. No, I'm fine. The, the one that we just had with Man of Steel, that origin story, and the original Superman. Those are the only two origin stories of him we have had. So it's like, if it would be an origin story, that actually doesn't sound as bad. Or maybe, you know, like whenever he barely moves into the city kind of thing, you know? Yeah. Whenever he comes to, like, allied with his powers and stuff. I don't know. It's It, it, it hurts my head thinking about what can happen or what can't happen. I trust. I trust James Gunn will do well, though. I don't. I I guess I I hope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then um, because I feel like DC has like cooler characters in MCU for sure. I definitely think that as well. Because it's like the Avengers, they would probably get smoked by the just no, they would get smoked by Justice League. I mean, just by Superman alone, honestly. Yeah. It's yeah. like I feel like there's other teams in Marvel that would that are stronger. Like who? The X Men. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, because it's also, too, because it's like if you play, like, because every hero needs to be nuked at a certain level mm -hmm. as well, you know, for story purposes. And it's like, what level are they going to be nuked at? You know, that's more of the question. And, like, I remember hearing rumors or, like, some people, like, going back to, like, more of a golden age of Superman back in the comics where he couldn't fly. You know, like the classic thing, like, lift up an locomotive, whatever. And then leave build buildings in a single jump. He couldn't really fly. He just could jump high. Mm -hmm. And I remember hearing rumors that saying that's something that they might want to do, which I wouldn't like. I want that OP Superman. You know how Superman is. Yeah, like not even the Justice League could work him. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of th one of the good uh, animated shows that I saw or movie that I saw was Superman All Star. And this is like peak Superman. Like he is incredibly strong, incredibly everything, and intelligent as well. He's like Golden Superman. Hmm. Like Golden Superman. Oh no, no, it's just regular. It's it's just him. But it's him at his like he already been through all his battles. He already been like through everything. He has like a dwarf star that he's nurturing, raising back to strength or something like that. Mm -hmm. And like certain other incredible feats and stuff. And his memory, it's incredibly strong as well. And it's like, and then that's how you make a god more more whatever, right? Because I think that's the struggle with him. Okay, let's move on to Batman, though. What kind of Batman would you like to see? Just Rob Pat. I think that Batman's good. Mm -hmm. You and know, then, this is like not even, this is like, this is already like, you know, Batman Begins, right? Yeah. That's that's already what it is. So it's like, mm -hmm. um, I think I completely agree with what you said, mentioned before of going off Matt Reeves' Batman to expand, to create that universe, mm -hmm. which I think would be great. Same as well. And, like, I think it's also, too, it shows, like, you know, evolution of, you know, like, the raw bad, bad, bad we got. And then he just uh, evolves into what he needs to be mm -hmm. for the Justice League and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully they do. But if not, though, would what kind of Superman, no, Batman, would you like to see if it's not going to be Rob Bat, Bat, Bat? Um, well, if they go the route with no origin story, I think just the classic Batman that has a, that just de detective skills on point, you know, he mm -hmm. can scrap. He has a, he has a, 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 what's the name of it? He has like a, like a plan for everyone. Mm -hmm. Like he, like, you know how he has like, he researched everyone, so he has, like, a plan to stop them if they ever get, like, out of hand. Hashtag the animated movie Doom. Yeah, I think that's what's going on. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that so, Batman. Yeah. And then also, too, I think it's obviously he's a human or whatever, but then it's just, like, he plays the his strength and knows his limitations, you know? He's, I think that's one good thing I liked in the the the, the animated movie Justice League. War, I think it was called. And, like, you know, he knows he's a normal person, but he's, like, whenever he sees Superman, he starts throwing anything at him just to see anything can stop him. Mm -hmm. Like, he throws bombs, gas, and shit like that. He was like, fuck, hopefully something stops this motherfucker. Nothing does, of course, right? But he was like, oh, damn, I don't know what I'm doing. But then he knew his name as well. Mm -hmm. That's what got him to stop him. Because it was, like, that was my, my final card because he was running up to him. And he was like, Clark. And then he was like, ah, oh, fuck, this motherfucker knows. That's war, right? Uh, yes. Uh, 
So yeah, yeah, dark side invades and everything. Cause it's like at that's in the way they did for the anime thing, which I'm surprised that they were able to do. They have multiple slates of movies, just in their timeline kind of thing. And it was starting from the Flashpoint animated movie and that created that universe of animated movies. Yeah. And with that, like they're all, all established already at that point. They're all really good movies. Mm-hmm. I say hidden. Ah, it was in, it was very interesting. And uh, now, what about a new Wonder Woman? Just copy paste. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a big fan of her, so it's like, she's there, you know? I and thought the story was fine, how they introduced her, you know, and then they uh, saw her. I mean, we got her origin and everything. Um, I, 84 just wasn't all that. Yeah. One thing I wish they, well, I hope they do, they just let her fly. Cause like in she co- does fly. Yeah, you know, and then, you know, the last movie where she with clouds. <laughs> That's goofy. I remember watching. I was like, "Am I like is like is this for real? <laughs> <laughs> is this really happening?" Yeah, yeah. And then okay, now, uh, Green Lantern. What kind of Green Lantern would you like to see? Who's the original? Hal Jordan. Well, sure. there's also uh, Alan something, but they're not gonna do that one. Yeah, just bring Hal Jordan in. Mm-hmm. And it'll be cool if they actually like do. The multiple generations of uh, because there's like million of well, not million, but there's yeah. multiple humans. There's Guy Gardner, uh, John Seward, Kevin, something, just yeah, we got on the just a cruise as well. On the, the just see, we got we had a uh, John Stewart, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really think I got his last name wrong, but it sounds right, but yeah, him, them, whatever. And then also, too, like they, they had a deleted scene in the Zack Snyder cut with uh. John Stewart. Uh, yeah, no, that's correct. Mm-hmm. John Stewart, uh, Green Lantern in that movie. Oh, okay. He was he was always the Green Lantern that I thought was like the ideal Green Lantern. Like mm-hmm. growing up, always he was so like badass and like he could actually like put in work. He actually had an animated movie recently as well. Really, and it was pretty good. And then um, it was a modern time, and then um, he just got out of the military Marine Corps, and um. He got selected by the ring, and it turned out that, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, how Jordan got possessed, uh, I think it's called. By the Red Ring? No, 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 no. It's the a, Red Lantern? It's not that, it's not that. It's called, um, Paradox, or, I forgot exactly what, it was a certain spirit or whatever that corrupted him. It's something in the comics, or whatever, that he gets possessed by, and he turns bad, and then at the end, they actually kill him off. In that thing, because they're doing a whole new slate of animated movies now, because they did a new reset at the end of the slate of uh, the last run of things. They did a new reboot. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. So, like, now he's dead now. And then he got shot by Green Arrow. And that's another character I forgot about. What about Green Arrow? He definitely is a bigger part. He plays a bigger part than mm-hmm. what you'd expect. Like, uh, like uh, you know, the archer type, but he can really hold his own. Kind of like Kind of like Batman, obviously not as smart, but um, he can definitely like hold his own, and mm-hmm. if he has to, it'll be cool. Like if they do um, projects where they do the team ups, like the single people team ups or duels. Like uh, I know there was a big comic run back in the day with Green Lantern and Green uh, Arrow, so shit like that, you know. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. Or like Batman and Superman, uh, what's it called uh, Rhodes Finance, and that was a run for a long time. That'd be dope. Yeah, because it's like I can see single things off, but then if we're creating a universe where they're all tied together, it's going to be uh, difficult to do, 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 do. For, you know, a single thing where it's like you just call up your friend and tell them to come. Yeah. So it's like how do you lead them into the different projects, you know? Yeah, true. This is like something that I think about all the time, and it drives me fucking crazy. I'm sure you're not the only one. Yeah, I just think I'm just not as crazy where I get upset as much. <laughs> I get annoyed, definitely. I get annoyed by a lot of things, right? But I don't think I'm uh, as upset as other people are on these kind of things. Because it's like with James Gunn, I was just like, ah, fuck. Or whenever they announced no Superman, new Slade, new Superman, whatever. I was cool with it. I was, But I was like, ah, fuck. But I was like, I mean, on the flip side, like, at least something's going to fucking happen, right? Mm. Yeah. Timothy Chalamet as the new Superman. I'll take it. That would be funny. I want that. I want to see. I want to see him get in a role where they make him beef up. Yeah, take the roids. Yeah. Ch- chicken, broccoli, and rice. 
all they need is going that special trainer, get some little steroids and stuff, and boom. Biggest, biggest fuck for the next movie. What about Zach Efron as Superman or Batman? I'll take either one. Mm-hmm. Or Green Lantern. Or I think you'll be interested in Hal Jordan. Yeah, I guess. Mm-hmm. And who else is lined up there? What about um, they might do it or might not Cyborg? I don't know. I just think I just still feel like he's part of the Teen Titans. Yeah, it's just in the new, new Fifty Two. They put they bumped him up to the new team. I was reading that he never really has like his own place, and he's kind of like left out a lot. Mm-hmm. Even though he's like his powers are strong, mm-hmm. like he's not just like a cyborg. Yeah. Hopefully, I think in the in Young Justice, I think he's part of the Justice League as well. Because it's a new thing for him to be a Justice League member now. Mm-hmm. What about uh, Shazam? A new Shazam? Is he really part of it? I don't think. Yeah, he's super powerful. He can easily be like in there. Mm-hmm. Like I don't really, I don't think I've like in the show. Like I'm. I yeah, just, m- multiple shows. It's like it's a newer thing of him. I believe he's not part of the Ridge, the originals, whatever. But he's like a, a member of it now. And then at first, too, no one knew that he was just a small little boy. Mm-hmm. And then okay, who else is lined up in there that we're forgetting? What about the Hawk people? The Hawk people. Yeah. Hawkman. Oh, Hawkman. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I mean, he looked pretty cool in uh in uh, Black Adam, but beyond that, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it's like I'm thinking about that, and then um okay, and also another thing, if we're gonna have a new Batman, right? And that's all about Rob Bat, uh, Rob Bat, Bat and Bat, but a new one. What about the Bat Family, which I feel like is a big part of the DC EU or a big part of DC Comics. Mm-hmm. Are we going to do the full family, or is it being like, oh, here's Robin, and then maybe the next month, like, over time, they kill him off? I think over time would be better. Yeah, or not kill him. Because, I mean, there was even, like, what, there's a stint where he had uh, Barbara and uh, Dick living with him, right? And they were training together, mm-hmm. and she was Batgirl, and he was uh, Robin. And uh, then, you know, they, like, kind of parted ways after a little while, and she was doing, like, her own thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they could even do that and then like when uh, Dick leaves he finds Jason Jason's not the same kind of kid that Dick was and then you know all that stuff happens you know I don't have to say so pretty much like, like what they did with Titans yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty much <laughs> yeah because when you said that I was like that sounds like what they did with Titans or uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, what's the animated film Under the Red Hood that one yeah, and one thing I would love to see too is the falling out between Batman and uh, Robin, like how they did with Titans. <laughs> <Tide. laughs> <laughs> like that whole like dynamic of yeah. like you know like saying like this dude was fucked up like on well, what he did like to bring in those little kids and so mm-hmm. into the into that <laughs> thing was pretty fucked up. Yeah, yeah, man. This hopefully though, um, I think we covered most of the news, uh, rumors, and stuff like that. What Talked we think. Th- about a lot of DC stuff today. Yeah, as well. it's like I know it's this is slow a lot slower pace than normal, but I'm just digging in my head, and this is like thoughts that I just. It's good to air out, but it's also something I think about so much that is it drives me crazy, crazy off the wall all the fucking time thinking about this shit. Mm-hmm. So, let's move in a little bit more brighter news. Let's do our favorite segment, gin and talk. Uh, how much time? One fifteen. But then that I didn't break. Okay. John, 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 John. What have you been watching? I recently rewatched um, Avengers: Civil War just because um, I just wanted to see them, you know, kind of like fight again mm-hmm. and like what it did to like the team and all that. And also, it was really nice to see uh, Black Panther and then obviously you know Black Panther because you know he. Uh, Shout, Shout out to Chadwick Boseman, mm-hmm. um, R- R- R.I.P. Mm-hmm. And then we saw, you know, Ant Man come in. We saw Spider Man come in, and I think that was a funny way how they just <laughs> brought in people. And they were just like, "Hey, yeah, we kidnapped you. Come on, get the fuck over here." And then that whole scene where they're like standing in front of each other, where Vision like draws the line. Literally, he's like, "We're not gonna let you like go past this line." 
And all of a sudden, they're like a mile from each other. And they just start running to each other. It's like, how did they get that far? They're literally just in front of each other. And I liked how they t- they broke off. And I was like, okay, I'm taking this person. I'm taking this person. Yeah. It's like trying to keep him like somewhat sort of even, you know? Yeah, exactly. And the, the whole thing with like the other super soldiers. And then um, Helmet Zemo. And... It was just I just I just liked that was actually a pretty good movie. Yeah. I actually liked it. And then um the whole thing with like Iron Man and Captain America, they're just like butting heads and Helmet Zemo's plan worked perfectly. Baron Zemo. Helmet. Baron. Baron. Helmet. He's Baron. Well, they called him Helmet the whole time. Really? I don't know if I don't know if Baron is like a name he takes up later, but yeah, he was going by Helmet oh, okay. the whole time. Oh sorry. I think I don't think Baron's his real name. I think Helmet's his real name though. Because Baron is a, I believe, a title. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's the Baron or whatever, right? For his, the government, whatever. I'm so sorry. Continue. No, you're good. You're good. And yeah, so I just watched that. You know, it's a good watch. I, I enjoyed it. Uh, Vision. I hate Vision. Oh my god, I hate Vision. Why is he so lame? Why is he so weak? Man, get him out. He of should here. be way stronger than he yeah, really is, he really and that's annoying. How it's super he's, annoying. He's like super new, like. It's uncomfortable how nuked he is. And especially, I remember we talked about it in the other pond. I was like, whenever he got stabbed in Infinity War, he was like, oh, I'm in pain. I was like, bitch, you're a robot. How do you feel pain? <laughs> it's like he was feeling emotions the whole time. And then Tony. I, yeah, I understand the emotions. But feeling the pain. I was like, you're a robot. And he was holding like, oh, limping. I was like, bro, you're a robot. Get over it. Exactly. But yeah, that's what I, that's what I watched. Yeah. Uh, I'm getting, I'm working my way through right now. Season, I'm on season three now of C, the last season. And this movie is just getting very, um, no, it's serious. It's pretty good. I really like it. We have Patissa in it as well. And Patissa and, uh, shout uh, shout out Patissa, shout out Patissa Ball. And then uh, him, uh, is the younger brother of, uh, Jason Mo, um, Baba Voss is his name. And then his, Patissa is Ivan Boss or something. Ebo Boss, something, (laughs) Boss, whatever. And it's pretty cool. Their dynamic, how they communicate and they like, it's, Pretty good show. It's about blind people, if you didn't know. Yeah. Shout out blind people. Shout out Daredevil. Yeah. Shout out blind people. Hope you're watching on YouTube. <laughs> and <laughs> and I, I'm really enjoying it. I'm about to finish it. Well, I have a couple episodes, but I'm, I'm trying to run my way through it now. Just get it done with. I On my slate next up I have, I want to watch Doom Patrol and get caught up and, you know, live it out. You know, live out episode by episode because I love doing that part thing as well. You know, mm-hmm. being part of the new wave that seeing everything. As it comes out, I love being a part of that. So I want to get through Doom Patrol, get caught up with that. I think we were talking about cinema. Cinema. Great show. What else is there? What else have I been watching? Uh, I rewatched Dune, right? Yeah, yeah. Fucking masterpiece. <laughs> Fucking masterpiece. I was like, watching, I was like, man, this, this is that shit. <laughs> I remember last week, I watched part of it with my little brother and like, I love it too. It does not explain a fucking thing to you, and I love that. It's like I read the book, right? And like it took me to remember things from it, and like it doesn't explain the witches or like what certain things are or like how how uh, like there's robot or computer people and stuff like that and stuff like that. Doesn't even translate the language. It does do that, but it's just more concepts. It doesn't explain to you. It's like. Like, there's, like, people who are, like, somewhat robots. Or, like, there's a doctor who, like, will put... He puts his face on him, and he was, like, testing his vitals. He was, like, he thought that he's doing really good. But it didn't explain what that is. And then the book explains what kind of doctor and what kind of training and, like, what Spice is. It explains a little bit about it, but it doesn't go really too in-depth. And, like, there's witches and stuff like that. It, it's it's kind of like how Jedi are and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. There's the, They even have, like, a Jedi mind trick in there as well. And this explain any of it. It just does it. And I like it because it just shows. You know, the show, not tell. Kind of attitude. Incredible. Comes up. The next one's going to come in out November 3rd. Yep. So excited for that. But uh, I think that pretty much wraps up this episode, right? Yeah, I believe it's so. It's a little bit more of a downer, but it was more of a deep dive into what DCEU can. Detective and, Comics downer. Yeah. It's a... Uh, yeah, it was a different thing that we're doing just because it's more deep, deeper thinking and something like that. But... uh it's important, you know, as fans and stuff like that. But uh, thank you very as much. As influencers. As as we are. We we are in 
influencing things, right? Influencing. Yeah. And voicing what we think, right? But thank you very much for listening to this episode of the It's What We Do podcast. We're your host, Hannah John. We're also on all platforms and stuff like that. Uh, we're on everywhere. Just throw a rock. I bet it'll hit either one of us. If you're throwing high, it'll hit John. If you throw low, it hit me. But regardless, so thank you very much. And uh, yeah, thank you. Big kisses. You know, it's what we do.